We're back with some more Ross Stewart news, and it is, it's, it's sad, yes. Transfer news, here we go. Jers linked to Scotland striker, definitely real. And I just want to shit this down. I don't want Ross Stewart. I, I don't want to talk about the guy anymore, so you know what? It's probably the last, unless we actually put a bid in or sign him, it's the last time I talk about him, right? He scored the day for Sunderland, Sunderland won 2 1, if anyone cares, in the FA Cup, right? But he's got 18 months remaining on his contract, Ross Stewart. And there's 10 million being priced on his dome, right? We have Shankland at Hearts, who... Shankland's much better, man. Shankland is superior to Ross Stewart. And even though he wasn't, right? It's not like we're going to have to pay 10 million for Shankland. Why the hell would you pay 10 million to Sunderland for Ross Stewart? Like, simple, simple choice here. Would you rather Ross Stewart or Shankland? No money involved. I'd rather Shankland. 10 million for Ross Stewart or 3 million for Shankland? 3 million for Shankland. We move on. Talked about this a wee bit earlier on today on Fog Football about uh, Chris Boyd calling it Celtic boss Ange Boss Logley on VAR comments. Thought this was funny. Says here Celtic boss had fumed over the decision not to award his side a penalty against Rangers. The ball appeared to strike Conor Goldson on the hand in the two, two each Derby match. But John Beaton, he waved play on and was not instructed to check the pitch side monitor. Holy moly. Boyd has slammed the outrage after the match as he insists that there would have been a full-scale meltdown had Kyogo not scored a late equaliser. And a swipe at Post Dogwood's comments, Boyd suggests that his words were another attempt to keep the Celtic supporters riled into believing the world is against them. Oh, the world is against the wee Celtic fans, isn't it? It's a... Oh, it's tragic. And the Scottish son, Boyd wrote, drawing to each was bad enough for some Hoop supporters and their media cheerleaders. Had they actually lost the Rangers, would be talking about a full-scale meltdown. I totally agree. Ange is just a fanny. It said last year, he's like, all we talk about is decisions over here. It doesn't matter about our offsides or their offsides. Let's talk about the football. I will. Move a year later, Ange, and your arse is collapsing. You've had too many McDonald's and it's gone. The arse has went. He's completely drunk the, the diluted juice over there. And he is a mongoloid after all, we Ange. But anyway... That's what it is. He says there's only one. He's only thinking of the teams in danger of being relegated because this could affect them down the line. Sure he is. Ah, exactly. He's only thinking about the Celtic. That's all I'm just thinking about. Fuck them, man. Right? See, see, in terms of the letter of the law, it was the correct decision given. Actually, it's written down. It was the correct decision. So, what are they complaining about, man? What are they complaining about? I'll go back to it. What about the cup final a few years ago? Julian with that offside goal, but two yards offside. Did we, did we hear any of them greeting about that? No, we don't hear any of them greeting about that. I wonder why. Why is that? What's that? Because they're a bunch of what? Fannies. That's, what, that's why. Fuck them. We move on to the final bit of business in today's video. And we have got Alfredo Morelos is handed a transfer exit option as Tigres make Ibrox star number one target. Morello still at Ibrox ends this summer and he could agree a pre-contract switch this month. Uh, Mexican side Tigres will reportedly look to sign Ranger star Alfredo Morelos this month. The Colombian has been a mainstay of Michael Beale's side since the Londoner stepped into the Ibrox hot seat. Netting in the victory over Hibs while also leading the line against Aberdeen in the absence of Jolak. The front man has struggled for form so far this season with 26-year-old netting just four goals but enjoyed an upturning form under Beale while questions remain over his fitness. However, his contract situation is yet to be resolved and he could agree upon pre-contract move away for Rangers. But yeah, right. I get why people don't want Morelos to re-sign, right? I feel like it's ran long enough his fitness problems, but could you imagine if we didn't have Morelos? Like, say Morelos was gone there since Beal came in. Who, who are we playing up front? Cholak's injured. Roof, you can't rely on Roof anymore. Like, we can talk about Morelos' fitness, but Morelos has actually been playing through fitness and injury problems. Roof can play through hee-haw. Like, I think Roof... Like, I mean, if you're injured, you're injured, right? I'm not, I don't want to just bury people because they're injured. Because, of course, Aaron Ramsey was injured. We never got the fucking uh, a 20th of the player he was capable of being, right? Suter has played one game, but... Roof has been here, what? Two and a half years, I think. Yeah, two and a half years. And he's, he's been injured more often than not. And I think when it gets to a point of that long, you kind of need to just call quits on it. Morello's sitting here, man, playing through injuries and stuff. And he's actually played well since Beal came in, even if the fitness ain't there. But what would we be looking like if Morello's hadn't been playing, man? He, he's been really crucial in some of our goals, his build-up play. I think against Aberdeen there, I mean, Motherwell, he scored the opener. And we fucking Rangers were on the ropes in that game. They were. 
See the opening twelve minutes. Motherwell had about ten corners, and we were shite until and then he almost scored that back heel goal, man, into the deck. It would have been the greatest goal I've ever saw in person, but. That's what it is, guys. But anyway, uh, Morelos could be going to Tigres, Boyd, Buddies, and, and until next time, leave your thoughts down below, and peace.